Good afternoon, Rossville students and staff. I'm Gregory. I'm Q. I'm Jacob. I'm Zach. I'm Keaton. I'm Colin. And, and you, you are inside, inside the nest. nest. The Rossville Lady Hornet seventh grade basketball team triumphed for their first win of the season Wednesday night at Clinton Central, orchestrating a relentless offensive assault coupled with a tenacious display of man-to-man -man defense against the Bulldogs. Adeline Farley led the way with 17 points, while Avery Longnecker contributed a solid eight points, and Ella Delks added two to the scoreboard. The defensive prowess of Arian Smith and Helena Del Rio played a pivotal role with several key plays securing the victory. Nellie Wesley contributed to the win with four points, and Chloe Yegley and Morgan Gang were chipped in with two and one points, respectively. Go Hornets. The Rossville Lady Hornets eighth graders contributed their winning ways, moving to 2-0 on the season with a victory at Clinton Central on Wednesday night. Behind the strength of their trademark 1-3-1 defense, the Lady Hornets were able to secure a victory over the Bulldogs with a final score of 35-8. The Lady Hornets won a 15-point run to start the game, which helped them to a 23-2 halftime lead before closing out the victory in the second half. The Hornets controlled the tempo with 9 assists on 14 baskets, hit 7 out of 11 free throw attempts, and forced 19 steals as all players contributed to the winning effort. Now to Caitlin, today's lunch. For today's lunch, we have cheese crunchers, pepperoni calzone, tossed salad, fresh fruit and veggies, and fruit cup. Back to you on Inside the Nest. Do noodles belong in Chile? Yes. yes. Come to the 9th and 10th grades Chile fundraiser February 9th before the boys' basketball game. Tickets are $5 at the door. Dinner will be chili and a peanut butter sandwich, a drink, and a dessert. 9th and 10th graders, please see the sign-up sheets on your sponsors. <laughs> 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 to Bro, see everyone... how you can help. We need all hands to make this a success. Students, reminder that in order to use the weight room after school hours or on weekends, you must be directly supervised by a coach or staff member at all times who is willing to supervise you. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Now to Maddie with today's sports. Sports for today, we have girls varsity basketball at Attica. Back to you on Inside the Nest. Thank you, Maddie. And best Ed will be at Rossville on February 20th at 6 p.m. in our NPR to assist senior families with the FAFSA. The $400 scholarship adds an exciting incentive for seniors attending the FAFSA com completion night. This event is a wonderful opportunity for families to receive assistance with the new FAFSA filing system and for a senior to have a chance to earn some <laughs> funds for college. Thank you to the sponsors, including AAA Plumbing, Creekside Growers, Knopp Family Dentistry, and Rossville Business Association for their support. We hope the event is a success. The Hornet Middle School wrestling team was runner-up at last night's county championship. Big shout-out to Austin Wilson, Dixon Cole, and Mimi Nicholas for destroying the field on the way to their individual county titles. Other wrestlers getting wins last night were Corbin Martin, Jonas Stingley, Asher Filioff, Jude Gustin, Jack Padgett, Eli Duncan, Jack Gustin, Max Bevins, Owen Lynch, Ace Bevins, Landon Yagi, Chris Kroom, Evan McDonald, and Timothy Lamb. The Hornet wrestling team will have their first home match next Thursday versus Tough Western team at 6 p.m. in the field house, and we'd love the support of the Hornet Nation. Today's joke. Why did the coffee file a police report? Why? Why? It got mugged. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Gregory. I've been Jacob. I've been Zach. I've been Colin. I've been Keaton. And I've been Q. And, and you've been inside, inside the nest. nest.